Okay. <laughs> there are there are many things that we do in some. Yes. Okay. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Glad Good to evening. see you again. <laughs> Thanks. So pleasure to see you yeah. again too. Thank you. <laughs> so happy you're all back again. I. I was missing your laugh. <laughs> My laughing is true. Yes. It's so peculiar, right? Because yeah. you always look very happy. <laughs> How are you? Yes. How did it go? Okay. Did you rest? Yes, I was resting at my home. Yes, teacher. Nice. So you're full of energy. Okay. Full battery. <laughs> Full battery, Full battery, okay. 50%. In our vacation, we, we were uh, charging our battery. Ah, that's good. That's the idea. Yes. Nice. Okay, how many people joining two, so far? Uh, we were working uh, at the platform too. Nice, true. I saw, uh, I saw you were asking. Bar, uh, yes. I don't know. Uh, there was a mistake in an exercise. Uh, uh, my diploma haven't given generator to yet. Yet, not yet. Yet, uh, we're not still yet. missing about two weeks. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't worry. Listen. Okay. Yes. Keep practicing. Keep working. Miss Vasilia Monterosa. Hi. <laughs> I'm fine. I had a problem in the platform, but um, resolved it. You could solve it. Nice. Yes. That's good. Excellent. All right. Some other people apparently have the camera on, but we cannot see them. It's still connecting. There you go. Yeah, we can see more people now. Well, the first activity we're going to start with let me share the screen so that we can start talking and having our class developed tonight. Good evening, everybody. Good Hi, evening. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Well, this is our class number nine. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're going to interpret gestures and body language okay usually when we talk of course when we're in person we tend to move our hands make gestures or move the head or roll the eyes or make faces so this is body language gestures right that we use to communicate our ideas in a better way all right but before we get started, uh -huh, your last vacation, volunteers, tell me a summary. I mean, this is only examples, but you can make a short presentation of your last vacation. <laughs> For instance, yes, yeah, somebody was already talking about vacation here. It says, I rested two days. The other days I was working on the platform. I was trying to communicate with my partner. We were sharing the ideas. We were um, comparing exercises. I don't know, whatever you did. If that was the case, perfect, wonderful. But if you did something else, something different, you know, like you said, oh, uh, I didn't have the whole week, but at least I had about two or three days. The first thing I enjoyed doing was that I woke up late, I stayed up late, I watched movies, I saw videos, I shared time with my family, spent time with my nieces, nephews, and so on and so on. You know, that was my case, actually. <laughs> Those are the things that I did differently, actually. So anybody... Hi. <laughs> Okay, teacher, in my case, in my case, teacher, I, uh, the, the three first days from my free time, I 
I work in my clinic, mm -hmm. but uh, the rest of the week I rest in my home. I spend very a long time in my, with my family. And uh, two of that days, uh, we go to the, we go, we went to visit um, our family to Chalatenango and Suchitoto. Nice. And um, I, I try to complete to complete the the platform, but uh, some of exercise I I can't I can't couldn't. complete. It. <laughs> you couldn't complete some of the exercises, so you yeah. were having a, a tour, a trip, and you were trying to complete some of the exercises. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Somebody else. In my case, teacher, I visit my parents in Komasawa. I went in bus. Uh -huh. in, in bus, and my son very happy because uh, he liked to travel <laughs> in bus. <laughs> he was having a blast on a tour on a bus. Actually, yes. Komasawa is on the top of a mountain, right? Yes, it's a mountain. And, and it's they, beautiful. Yes, and the news, I see the report, mm -hmm. the El Peñol. And the, the rock. <laughs> the rock, yes. It, it is a, a nice place and the people work. And the, people and go hiking that on that place. Go hiking, yes. Oh, nice. It's a tourist place. In, and it has in a, a beautiful view. Yes, he has a beautiful view and the... Sometimes the neblina, I don't know what to say, the neblina. Fog. F the fog, F-O-G, yes. F -O -G, F -O -G, uh, can see the, the, the view, but it's a nice place. Nice, wow. So your son was having a new experience traveling by bus. <laughs> yes, he liked, he liked it. Interesting, that's good. Okay, someone else. Don't be shy. <laughs> Teacher, uh, uh -huh. good evening. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Uh, in my case, uh, was at home uh, resting. And however, uh, I have a little problem in Friday, on Friday mm -hmm. because uh, my my uh, uh, my cat uh, uh, got got sick, so we we take carry to the hospital of the chivo pet. Really, did you <laughs> use the service of the so chivo pet? We go there at uh, more or less at six o'clock and for an emergency. Leaving, leaving from the hospital at ten and and thirty minutes, more or less. <laughs> Almost okay. midnight. Yes, uh, I thought uh, me uh, my cat will going to die. However, uh, he is okay. Fine. <laughs> right now. Wow. Because, so he he uh, received yes. a good attention. Yeah, good attention because because they put uh, they put an, an injection injection, and they they gave they gave him a. a, a Medicine, medicine, medicine. Mm -hmm. okay, and now he's he eating well, very nice, very well. Nice, that's okay. awesome. I've been tr I've been oh. trying to make an appointment. Okay, but, but there are uh, <laughs> something important that uh, you have to pay only with by Chivo wallet. You have to have bitcoins, definitely. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> only with that, yes. But you had uh, some. Okay. On the other hand, uh, we went to visit my my parents with my wife. Okay. In the town? What? In a town? Out uh, of the city? Uh, uh, near, near near here in okay. San Salvador, Mexicanos. Nice. Okay. So you didn't go out of the city? Uh, no, no. 
stay. Uh, here. You here. definitely stay home. Okay. <laughs> uh, we pay it very nice because <laughs> we get we go there uh, uh, at twelve o'clock uh, mm -hmm. only to to take lunch. <laughs> to have lunch with them. <laughs> to have lunch. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> okay. And it was very delicious. The 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 they made the fish. fish. The fish. <laughs> That was a tra okay. it's a tradition actually, right? Uh, yes, it's a People tradition. People usually make fish, fish uh, for this holidays. Okay, okay. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Okay, did you someone else? We still have time for somebody else. In my case, I work in the, weekend. the whole week. See. Si. My week. goodness. No vacation. <laughs> No vacation. But you're gonna have vacation during the year. I need I need a vacation. I need it. <laughs> but do I mean are you supposed to have vacation at any time of the year? Yeah, um Friday is free day. Oh, uh, you have a day off on Friday. Yeah, it's uh, uh all days I watch the movies in Amazon Prime. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Good. Welcome. Welcome back. We, we see Hola. some people that we haven't seen in a while. So that's great news. So welcome. So it's time to get started. We have a new topic. Have you checked the following topic? I already told you a little bit. Uh-huh. For example, if you go like this, what does this mean? Uh, you are thinking. I'm thinking, exactly, or I <clears throat> can't remember. <laughs> yes, people say like, what was it? Okay, or if you go like this, oh, my ear. Hearing. I can hear you, right? If you go like this, in a hurry i'm in a hurry, hurry. or hurry. hurry up right <laughs> hurry up <laughs> quickly 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 exactly so i'm in a hurry or hurry up or go quickly right or if people go like a little money, money. <laughs> i just need money. money there's just little money i don't have money or people have money but it refers to something related to money right mm-hmm Sometimes our gestures are similar, sometimes are a bit different from American gesture, right? So I don't know if you remember these. Victory. Peace. peace. <laughs> exactly. For American, uh, this is peace or peace and love, yeah. right? And oh, for wow. El Salvador, this can mean victory. Yes. Right? Hmm. If you go like this. A little. Just a little. A little. <laughs> or a short time. It can also mean short, short time. time. Yes, wait, right? Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Oh, Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Hello. <laughs> right? It all depends. Respect. Respect can be. Mm -hmm. Something else? Uh, <laughs> no. Salud, in America, no sé. yeah in america usually in it's time. the army the army oh, usually yeah. go like this and they they go like yes sir right yes <laughs> okay um <laughs> hot? it's hot it can be hot or you should go like this it's hot or warm yes like no, these days has been really, really hot, right? Yeah. Really hot. Really. It's you have cold. to take a shower every time. It's cold. You have to take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because of the weather. If you go like this. Please. 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 <laughs> please. Right. Help me, the please. emojis now substitute the gesture, right? So you now, instead of making a gesture, you just send an emoji and then you say, oh, the person, the other person who receives the emoji has to in interpret the meaning, right? So that's what usually happens, okay? All right, what if you go like this? Good. Good. 
Like. Agree. <laughs> agree. Right. Okay, agree. Thumbs up. Agreed. Well done, right? So it can mean a lot of things, right? Okay, so this is something related to what we're going to study, definitely. Let me just share my screen, I guess, here. Okay. So we just talked about this. All done. All right, yes. Mm hmm all right so this is what it means feelings and gestures of course here's we can still see some of the gestures okay we got a b c d e f and the first sentence says he's biting his nails the second one says he's rolling his eyes <laughs> he's scratching his head Hmm, okay. He's tapping his foot when you go like, <laughs> okay, with your foot, of course, right? He's trembling his hair. Hmm, it would be like F. probably making this. He tore his hair. Mm -hmm. he's and he's his wrinkling hair. his nose. I don't know if that is common. I don't think it's very common in our country, but it, it can happen, okay? So what is this man doing in each of the pictures? Match the expression. Let's pretend nothing is here, okay? Let's just try to interpret, okay? Mm, <laughs> in twirling, the letter A, twirling. let's pretend, I said. <laughs> in the letter A, what is he doing? He's twirling his hair. Uh huh. He's twirling his hair. So it's kind of. When do people do this? I have seen that more more common for women probably than for men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Frustrated. Frustrated. Probably. Probably. What? Probably with his uh, his uh, nervous. Nervous, yes, when somebody is not very yet. confident, I'm... annoyed, I'm a little bit confused, a little bit frustrated, could be. Okay, what about the letter B? The letter B? He, number six. Mm -hmm. He's wrinkling he his nose. His I don't know. I actually I can do it myself. <laughs> I don't know if you do that. <laughs> I can wrinkle this like frowning. This is easy for me. Actually, I already have a wrinkle here because of my eyebrows are very separated. But my nose, I don't know. What does that mean? What do you think it means? Hmm. Annoyed, bored, confused, disgusted, embarrassed, exhausted, frustrated, impatient, irritated, or nervous. Irritated, I think. I think he's irritated. Mm -hmm. He's not happy with something, right? Yeah. Okay. What about the letter C? He's rolling. He's rolling. I think this is another expression, another gesture that is very common for American. <laughs> But probably for us, it's more like we just roll them, but probably we just look up or look at one from one side to the other, but not like really rolling our eyes like crazy. <laughs> he's rolling his eyes. Uh huh. He's rolling his eyes. Eyes. He's rolling his eyes. Now, why? Uh, confused. He's a bit confused, probably. Mm hmm. Maybe he's thinking about something. He's thinking about something, right? Um, Could be. Or bored. Or bored. Mm -hmm. bored. Impatient, maybe, uh, as well, right? So it's like mm -hmm. <laughs> when somebody doesn't stop talking, you say, like, okay. All right. How about letter D? Like, is nervous. biting his nails? Nervous. nervous. Is that common? Yes. <laughs> Some people are still doing, especially for teenagers, right? Probably adults <laughs> try to stop it. 
But yeah. teenagers, yeah, when they're nervous, they usually go like biting the nails. All right, what about tapping the foot? Like. Impatient. 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 Exactly. When you're waiting, waiting, waiting for something or for somebody, you're usually tapping this, your foot, right? This disgusted. It's disgusted. Um, yeah, could be. Can be furious. Can be furious. Can be probably. Not very calm. Mm -hmm. And the last one. <clears throat> it's is scratching his head. He's confused. He's bored. Frustrated. Frustrated. Yeah, actually, not necessarily. They have only one meaning, right? That's why we usually use possibilities right mm -hmm. probably possibly <clears throat> right perhaps maybe it means this right so we're going to have a conversation about uh-huh about somebody from india have you ever had the opportunity to interact with somebody from <clears throat> india no. Yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> I was the experience. Tell us. I'm very curious. <laughs> ah, when I when I was in Korea, in South Korea, I I met a uh, uh, lot of Indian. Really, I was the experience. I went to um uh, to study and uh, about uh, one month in 20 in in 2000 in 2000 and, uh, 2000 ah <laughs> 22 years <laughs> ago <laughs> i still remember what happened in 2000 but i remember oh, uh -huh. It was a good experience. That's yeah, good experience. Um, how how long the, did you stay in Korea? Uh one month. A month for a training. Um, for a training. Mm -hmm. Did you interact yeah. with the with the people from India? Yeah. And yeah. um, did you notice anything different? Uh, they. Bueno, all, um, all of them uh, were very kind, can, uh, were very kind. Very kind. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, respect. Um, oh. Nothing um, different. Oh, mm, no, but uh, in his uh, dresses. Mm -hmm. Very different, very different, because yes. they use uh, some similar to skirt. There's yeah, kind of a mm -hmm. gown, right? Similar to a dress, mm -hmm. but for men similar and for, for women. Mm -hmm. Actually, for and women, tunics. For, yeah, for yeah, tunics for for women's are longer, I think. But they they think well. I, I had a very similar experience in two thousand fourteen. I went to to a to a course for teachers in the states, and there were teachers from twenty different countries. And we have people, I mean, teachers <laughs> from Pakistan, from India, and they told me that yeah. for women, those are considered the blouse. Imagine, but the blouse go to the floor. And I'm like, wow. Uh, <laughs> and for the men, the, yes, the, those are the dress code, definitely. But in the way they communicate, there are also some differences, of course, right? Because they are from a different culture, okay? So this conversation is between Ron and Laura, and Ron asks Laura, have you met Ra, the student from India? And Laura says, no, I haven't. 
Well, it seems he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from one side, from side to side when when you oh, talk sorry. to him. Sorry. You know, like this. Hmm, maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree. But imagine how weird, because when we go like this, it's because we don't agree or we don't know or we don't like something, right? But it, it says, actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you're saying. Oh, so that's what it means, okay? So that's one, one gesture, okay? They, instead of, for them, this is like, yes, and this is like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so this is very, very confusing for us, of course, right? Because it would be like el chavo del ocho. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so they are just describing this that I have noticed from this student. When I had experience, uh, I told you about, we didn't interact. I mean, in my case, of course, the other, the other teachers probably did. I didn't interact much because the the person we had from India was a man and they are kind of traditional, I think. I mean, they, they have their traditions and and sometimes they don't really mix men and women. But something I noticed is that people from this countries, because it was somebody from India and the other person from Bangladesh, is that they really really talk loud and they really make noises you know and I, and I was like I know uh, <laughs> I'm not used to <laughs> so I wasn't very happy about this so probably that's one of the things I noticed from them that's a difference between their culture and our culture but the rest I mean yeah they're very smart they're very kind they they know a lot they know a lot of things they are really really smart okay especially at that time they they were like really into technology so it did, you know a lot of things okay so i'm gonna give you some opportunity in this time to practice this conversation and you can also talk about some other gestures okay or maybe gestures that you have gotten confused or something that you just found out something that in what probably you thought it meant is not what it really means for example this one you know when i went like this and now uh, the teenagers have a lot of different gestures because they have adopted them from korea i i, I know they go like this and for them for them this is a little heart so that means love okay <laughs> So like, and for the other ones, they go like this as well. That also means love or lots of love. So maybe something that you have just learned, not only from old people or from different cultures, but from the teenagers, from the new generations, because they're also teaching us, you know, like different things they learn from the world. Okay. So this is the time for you to interact with your partners. Okay. I'm going to send you the screenshot. So don't worry. And we're going to work in a small groups. All right, here we go. Let's make about well, four groups would be enough.
Uh, Amilcar, si you you're wrong or, or Laura? No? Okay, let me a moment, please. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I suppose that we have to read the article. Okay? Yeah. Okay, uh, who going to start? You. Me, okay. And then uh, Laura. Okay, I go to start. Okay. Have you met Ra? The student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head uh, from side to side when you talk to him, you know, like this. Maybe it's meaning uh, he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Who's next? Okay, I, I mean, I... You are wrong, and who is Laura? Uh, me, Carla. Okay. okay, Carla, you're Laura. Go ahead. Okay. Have you met Ra, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moved his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, lady, like this? Maybe it means he doesn't understand you? No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, Does. sorry. Actually, Peter, oh, well, Peter is a <laughs> is other person. Uh, you have to say Peter too. Actually, okay. you, Adriana. Okay. Uh, like this. Maybe it's me. She doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean she doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you are saying. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay. How do you meet Raf, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there one thing I noticed uh, he may help from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this? Maybe it, it means he doesn't understand, understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could, could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their hands from side to side when they agree with what you're saying. Oh, so that what it means. <laughs> Finish. Great. Okay, <laughs> next. <laughs> wait, wait. Mm, she seems really nice, but there are there one things I notice she moves his hair from side to side when you talk to him, you know, like this. Maybe it seems he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think 
did so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Pide. Okay. Uh, okay, go. go. Pide. Actually, a milk. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, but, a milk. Go. <laughs> actually, people from India sometimes put their hair from side to side when they agree with with uh, what you're say, saying. Oh, so oh, that's so that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, so that's what is mean. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> sorry. Not good. Pero esa duda la podemos preguntar a la a la teacher para ver si si estamos en lo correcto. Tell me. Eh, eh, we have a, a question when when the conversation say say mm -hmm. scale from side to side is it move the head from the left to right or up and down from side to side it's when we say similar to when we say no okay mm -hmm. side this to side is like the lado a lado. Exactly. Okay. This is up and down. Up and down. Yes. Up and down. Yes. Up, up and down is arriba hacia abajo. Exactly. Oh, we usually say no at our head. Especially when we want to say yes, we usually go like this, right? Mm -hmm. When we are yes. affirming mm -hmm. yes. or when we agree. But side to side is like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, como dice uh, ciego? Uh, ciego is blind. 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 I, I yeah. think that blind. was, was uh, like a, a blind people, like a, like a, a move all, all your, uh-huh. Like this? Uh-huh, like this. Ah, uh, okay. Well, could be also, but mainly like this. Okay. From side to side, yes. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. All right. Any other question? Do you share your experiences with gestures? Nope. <laughs> okay. There are some minutes left for that. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Somebody want to share? I hear you very well. Yes. And I listen to you very well. Yes. Okay, Claudia. I'm back. Hey. Wow. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> you talk with a okay, little Claudia. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Claudia. Go. Yeah, uh, I really have problems with my internet. I uh, Claudia. I thought you were angry. <laughs> oh yeah, my God. I'm a, bit, uh, I'm a little bit angry with uh, Clara. Uh, okay. Uh, Claudia, is when you can start? Yeah. Uh, okay. Reading, um, right? Okay. All oh, right. And the first. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems uh, really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. Uh, he moved his head from side to side when you're talking to him, you know, like this. Uh, maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move 
they hit from side to side when they agree with what you are you are saying. Oh, oh. so ah, you okay? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Uh, oh, so that's what it mean. Okay. <laughs> okay. And that was. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Do you share your experiences with the gestures? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any any experience that you share? Anything that you remember from your partners? Any confusion? Yeah. <laughs> Any new gesture that you have learned? Any different interpretation? Or different meanings? For example, when you go like this, that means? <laughs> good. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Fine, right? Good, but in good. Some, yes, but in some countries, okay has a negative meaning. Um. <laughs> yes, the sign of okay is not that okay. <laughs> so we'll have to investigate. This is really important when we interact with people from other countries, definitely, right? <laughs> yes, thumb up. That's another one, okay? Yes, as I told you, okay, in the in, in the reactions, in the emojis, you can have a lot of different gestures, a lot of different interpretations, right? Okay, let's see. No questions regarding the conversation? No, no question. No question. No question, teacher. All right. Okay, we're going to study the others and the models for possibilities. First, these are the model auxiliaries, okay? Let me get something from the annotate. I got the spotlight. Okay, models are modal auxiliary verbs, okay? So these are words that work together with the verb, okay? So modal auxiliary verbs for possibilities, okay? We have my, may, and could. Estos tres significan justamente lo mismo, ¿ok? So, possibly, ¿ok? My, may, could. That's a possibility. It may mean he doesn't understand you. It may mean he doesn't understand you. It could mean he doesn't agree with you or he doesn't understand you, if you want to say with the first example, right? This is a very a slight possibility, right? Sorry about my neighbor's dog. <laughs> my dog is sleeping, okay? So it's not mine. <laughs> That's my neighbor's. Okay, it might, yes, it may, it could mean. When you're trying to interpret a gesture, mm -hmm. say, oh, it could mean, it might mean, it may mean, right? If you notice, this is an auxiliary verb, so the verb doesn't have an S, mm -hmm. yes? Because here, it, the pronoun is it, but since we already have a modal auxiliary, the verb doesn't need an S, okay? Base form. Yes, it might mean, it may mean, it could mean. And when the certainty is bigger, when we are almost sure, we say it must mean. So this is a bigger possibility, almost 100% sure. You say, oh, it must mean he agrees with you, right? 
So I almost, I'm almost sure that that's what it means. Okay. So these are the model auxiliary verbs. And these are the adverbs. <laughs> now I'm rolling my eyes. <laughs> that is, um, disgusting. <laughs> I'm irritated because of my neighbors, though. All right. Now the adverbs. Maybe and perhaps is a very similar meaning as well. Maybe it means now we need the S, right? Because here there's nothing. So we only have the verb, the third person singular. So maybe and perhaps go at the beginning, right? And then maybe it means perhaps it means right maybe it means he doesn't understand you perhaps it means he doesn't agree with you that probably means that possibly it possibly or it probably this goes after the subject yes and we also need the s the verb yes it probably it possibly means he agrees with you all right so this is how we use either model or adverse of possibility to express or to interpret what a gesture possibly means right or the meaning of a gesture yeah can we move Message. All right, this is something you already saw on the platform, right? These are the models. These are the adverbs for possibility. So this is a slight possibility, and this is a strong possibility. Mm, a slight possibility means, it's mm, a possibility, pero no estoy tan seguro, right? So the degree of certainty it anda como por el 50%. Yes? It might, it may, it could. But Maybe. So, so viendo un poquito, right? So it's like getting a little bit more possibility. But it must mean that it's almost 100%. Okay? And the adverbs go the same way, right? Maybe, perhaps, it possibly, it probably, it definitely, so I'm almost sure here, like 99% sure, yes? So this is something we can use, but if you notice, we use the model, may, my, could, must, and the verb doesn't need an S. But then when you use the adverse, maybe and perhaps go at the beginning, and then we have the subject. It means, so, of course, it's third person singular, we need an S. It, it, and then between, we have the adverb. Possibly, probably, <laughs> means, and this adverb go between the subject and the verb. All right? All right. No problem, teacher. I can see you. I think my neighbor is, is coming or leaving or something. <laughs> okay, now the dogs still quiet. All right. Using either. A model auxiliary or an adverb, we're going to express what the gestures mean, okay? Here we have some of the gestures. Of course, these are well-known gestures, right? The first one goes like this. <laughs> the second one, I don't know if I can see. Oh, my hand looks very big on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Probably in Salvadorian we go like this, right? Where in American it's like this, 
Okay, so that is a slight difference. Okay, we go like this. Mini niño. <laughs> In American, it's like, come, please. Okay, all right. So, number three. Your mom. Shut up. Quiet. 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 Be quiet. Uh-huh. It's on low. Yes. <laughs> Some other people go like. <laughs> Fight. Fight. I'm watching you. I no, see. but probably this is more like. I see. I'm seeing you. <laughs> or. Watch. Tengo la mira. Uh -huh. <laughs> I right. can see or I can watch. No, I actually, see. Actually, this one, according to this list, Hello, be quiet, peace, we won. That sounds crazy. I can hear you come here. Be careful. This is more like be atención. careful. Okay. Mm -hmm. o sea, observe oh. bien, right? So that is be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. Yes, actually, actually, uh when you go out, probably your mom simply says, bien. Okay. <laughs> so you gotta be careful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six. So I remember, I remember my mom used to say, but pues, and they books. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> they say, be careful. Okay. So you have to be paying attention to everything, right? Okay, not getting distracted. All right. Number six. We, we, won. Won. we won. We won. <laughs> the the beach soccer. <laughs> okay. Number seven. Hello. Hello. Hey, number eight. I can hear you. I, I can, can hear, hear you. Hear you. Hear you. Okay. So supposedly we are not very sure of what these gestures mean, right? In that case, we're gonna use the modal auxiliaries okay or the adverse of possibility what do you think number one means this is an example that probably means or it may mean or it could mean perhaps it means maybe it means so using the previous models or adverse we are going to say the interpretation of these gestures, okay? That probably means, or it could mean, or it might mean, or it may mean, right? So using mm -hmm. the models or the adverbs, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is the idea. Of course, we are almost sure. And then we say, oh, that definitely means peace and love, <laughs> right? <laughs> or uh, it could mean, right using any of those structures we still have some minutes let's do it That sounds crazy. Maybe means he sounds crazy. It's possibly, it's possibly means crazy. <laughs> I, I think uh, number one is def def definitely 
phrase. <laughs> yes, but the the uh, we we use the models or adverbs. I think ah, adverbs. Okay. Adverb. Yes, yes. The is adverb. Yes. And then number two. And number two, I think is models because it's a, a sleep possible. Um, okay. You can say uh, for number three, it could mean um, be quiet. Yes. It could mean be quiet. Or it probably means be quiet. And for number four, it could mean peace. Number five. Oh. Maybe the model maybe me. Um I think that the number three. Yeah. It definitely means be quiet. It's definitely yeah. what is most possible, it's strong possibility. Now you it's fine. make a question to Racina. Sorry. Maybe. Number five. Uh, number five, okay. You you may you might you might be careful. For yeah. you must you must be careful. Oh, it means I wash <laughs> like the teacher said. Okay, and number six. Number six. We we, won't. we could it... models. Number four. Yes, use models. Models. It most means peace. Peace. Yes. Okay. Number five. Is models. Models. Uh huh. Yes. Mm. It's May, me, we want. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Um, it's most mean. You it's said? It's um, most mean? Be careful. I, I confuse in this because it's the meaning of, for the three words, is the same meaning. <laughs> Me, cool, and most. No. My, uh huh. It's the same. It's the same meaning. Uh huh. Uh, and, and this case, we can use the the, the three words. It's no problem. Oh. Uh huh. No problem. Uh, I think it is. I don't know. Me um, or may? I don't know. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. And Number six. Is in small life. All right. Is there any question?
No, teacher. No questions. No questions. All right. Okay. All fair. All clear. <laughs> Actually, yeah. if you if you use a model or an adverb, it's, it's exactly the same thing, right? For example, for number one, that sounds crazy, right? When you when you hear something, you say, oh, hmm, that sounds crazy. So, what do you think number one means? That probably means, perhaps, maybe, it means... It possibly means, it definitely means that sounds crazy, right? Mm -hmm. So you can use any of those forms. What we have to uh, notice in this topic is that there's not only one way to say something. Mm -hmm. There are many different ways to express possibility with models or with adverbs, right? Okay. That depends how certain you are that something is the meaning of, of a gesture in this case, of course, right? For the number two, this is not very clear for us because for us, when you call somebody, you go like this, come. But in American, it's the other way. So it's with the hand up. So if we are not very certain, we are not very sure of this meaning, then we show a slight possibility. And we say, it could mean, it might mean, it might mean, or it may mean, come here. Maybe. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, so yes. that's how we're gonna use the modes and the adverbs for possibility to interpret gestures in this case, right? Okay. But if, Let's say, uh, sure. yes. Uh, uh, I have heard that we're going to have class till Friday. That might mean that we're going to have class. <laughs> <laughs> By the way. That definitely means that we're going to have class on Friday. Oh, my God. Really? Okay. <laughs> yes. Actually, uh, okay. this, this, uh, this module was a schedule in a, in a very different schedule, in a very special schedule. Okay. Hopefully, after this module, you're going to have the normal schedule back from Monday to okay. Thursday. But uh, that means that that mean that we don't going to have vacation on Friday. <laughs> not for this time. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, okay. no worries. Okay. Uh, so, I agree with you. <laughs> yes, I'll see you tomorrow. Have okay, a good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.